Greetings, brothers and sisters. Hello and welcome back to Eva's House of Spirit. For those of you who are newer to this channel, I am Eva, and welcome to my 13 Days of Samhain holiday series. Some of you might be wondering, why 13 Days of Samhain? What's up with that? Well, recently I was going through my videos and I came across a holiday vlog from like Yule slash Christmas time and the idea struck me, you know, maybe this year I should try to do some holiday series materials and so I got to thinking about how Samhain is fast approaching and I thought, well what if I did 13 days of Samhain? You know, sort of like the concept of 12 days of Christmas and I liked that idea. So here I am what I'm going to do in this series, I'm going to have a video up every day for 13 days leading up to and including Samhain. And in these videos, I'm going to be sharing things that are very much in the spirit of the season. Sharing thoughts, tips, tutorials, all sorts of things. And so, you know, in terms of content, some examples of things that I'm going to share with you. I'm going to talk about decoration for the holiday, seasonal spirit work, divination. I'm going to discuss shadow work, things like that. Th these are not all of the topics, but these are some of the topics. You know, so you can really expect a lot of enriching content, you know, content that I hope will be helpful and inspiring to you. And I'm also going to have in every episode a discussion question where you can go down to the comments below and you can chime in in answering the question. I think this can spark a lot of positive and beneficial discussion, you know, learning, sharing, and growth. That's, that's our whole aim here at Eva's House of Spirit. And there's also going to be writing exercises. I'm going to share with you topics that I encourage you to explore through writing. So one thing I strongly suggest is that you find or you know either find a notebook you already have or buy a book, a notebook or a journal book to be your Samhain notebook. And through all the 13 days they're going to be writing exercises in the notebook, but you can also write other things that you are thinking about or experiencing. You know, this, this is your journal. It doesn't have to just be for the writing exercises that I give to you or that I share with you. If you have, let's say, some profound insight about this time of year or you have an experience or something, you want to write that in your journal, feel free. This is going to be my Samhain journal. For this series for this year but I'm also going to save it because I know it's only 13 days worth of writing so there's probably going to be a lot of blank pages left. I could use this again hopefully if all goes well I can do another 13 days of Samhain series next year and in years to come. So yeah I do suggest that you find, buy, somehow obtain a notebook to be your Samhain journal, your Samhain notebook and also Every day of these 13 days of Samhain, I'm going to have a witchy link of the day in the description for you. Links that kind of either parallel or complement or have to do with the topics covered in the videos for each day. So do be sure every day, including today, to go down to the description and check out the witchy link of the day. To make it a little more fun, I'm not going to tell you what's in the link. You're just going to see a link, and you're just going to go and click on it and discover some new, cool, fun stuff. So it'll kind of like be a little surprise, you know, at the end of every video. That'll, that should be, I think, kind of fun. This time of year, we are moving from the lighter portion of the year into gradually ever-increasing darkness. And one thing that I will suggest is that you all keep in mind 
that dark does not necessarily equate to evil. Dark is not something that you should inherently fear because while darkness, many aspects of it can be unknown and therefore frightening, if we sort of peel away the facade, darkness is not frightening at all. It is just the counterpart to the light. I think it's, it's very much easier to connect with and understand concepts in light, in darkness. It really is a sort of, I think, more profound and deeper discovery process. So now, without further ado, I would like to take you through my Samhain oil tutorial. I'd like to create this oil with you now because, as I state later in the video, which was pre-recorded, we want to give it time to steep. We want to be sure this oil is ready, or we'd like this oil to be ready by the time that Samhain arrives. So here is my Samhain oil tutorial. Okay, so let's start our tutorial for this Samhain oil. The first thing I'm going to use, I have a bottle here of vegetable oil as my base. Um, I just I choose to use vegetable oil because when you're infusing herbs into oils, vegetable oil does take well to infusion. It's also something that most people have around their homes pretty easily and readily. This bottle, if you think this is kind of pretty, this is actually um, a little bottle from a liqueur that is called Saint Germain. I don't know if you can see the little emblem there on the top, but I have removed the label. I just thought the bottle was very pretty and that it would suit like this oil nicely, that it would be a nice little bottle to work in. Okay, so now that we have our vegetable oil base, the first thing that I'd like to add to this, there are three ingredients that kind of all go together and I use these in a lot of works specifically for fast luck, prosperity, and success. I'm going to be working with cinnamon. I have a nice little stick here. I made sure to choose a stick that is small enough that it will fit into this bottle that I'm working with. And then I have allspice. And I chose to use ground allspice because I just feel like when it's ground it will mix nicely into the oil. But you can use whole berries. It's not to say that you can't as long as they can fit into the the uh, neck of your container and go in. That's fine. You can use whole allspice berries. I also feel like um, ground allspice might infuse better because it's like crushed up. It's ground up. But you know, use what you have. So. Then also I chose nutmeg. Cinnamon, allspice, and nutmeg are excellent for, again, fast luck, prosperity, success. This is a triad of herbs that I like to use for all manner of um, good things, particularly when you are maybe applying for a job, or if you're gambling, or if you're in a contest of some sort, or if you're doing something where success and things going your way matter. These are good, but in this case I'm using these because these are seasonal herbs. These are three herbs that are often used in, for example, pumpkin spice. Don't laugh though. But in general, these are good for fast luck, for prosperity, for success, for blessings, for good things. Cinnamon also, it does have a lusty and sensual quality about it. This is good for blessing romantic relationships as well. So if you happen to be in a relationship, hey, party bonus. If not, no worries. That's fine. Um, you can focus more on the prosperity and blessings and luck aspects of cinnamon in that case. But anyhow, so I'm going to open up the bottle and I'm going to Oh no, is my cinnamon stick too wide? I might have to break off. It's a little too wide on this end. I might have to break off a little bit of it just so it'll fit a little better. 
Okay. I'm going to drop in that cinnamon stick, and I'm also going to drop in the little pieces that I broke off because I don't want to be wasteful. And I'm going to add in my allspice. I don't have exact measurements for this, but I'm just using like a little bit. It's not like you need a whole crazy amount. Go with your intuition, folks. I don't have set amounts for these. This is probably maybe like a quarter of a teaspoon that I'm putting in. Okay. And now I'm going to put in the nutmeg. Again, roughly a quarter teaspoon. No exact measurements. Nutmeg also, I will say, is an excellent herb for ensuring that things go your way kind of rebalancing or restacking the odds so that they're more in your favor. So if you have a situation in your life where you need things to kind of go better for you, I will say keep that in your mental Rolodex. Nutmeg is great for swaying things in your favor, or helping things to go your way. That's why a lot of um, gamblers tend to use nutmeg in their, you know, works for helping them out to win games of chance and such and that's why one of the reasons why nutmeg plays an excellent role in the triad of herbs for success and prosperity and things going your way you know how I spoke about the cinnamon allspice and nutmeg being an excellent triad of herbs for for example applying for a job or you know being involved in a contest or anything where you kind of need um, things to kind of go your way and you need that that edge so that you can win or succeed or be chosen things like that okay so the next thing I'm going to add in I'm going to add three cloves I have three little cloves here cloves they have a lot of good properties um, that I think would lend well to the sow and oil cloves tend to be protective in nature they're also good for stopping gossip or he said, she said, kind of drama, you know. And they're just a really great seasonal herb. So I'm going to add in the three cloves. Now, you may want to also look up the other properties of cloves because what I have said here about cloves is not all there is to cloves. You know, don't take my word for things. Anyhow, there may be things that sometimes I fail to mention. So I will also say it is always good to do a little research on your own, look things up, you know. You may discover other aspects to things that I may not touch upon. The next thing I would like to add is some orange peel because orange, again, it is great for luck, prosperity, blessings. It's a very solar herb. I feel that it would lend very well to the sow and oil. I probably have about a teaspoon of orange peel that I'm putting into this bottle right now. But again, no, no exact measurements, folks. You can use however much or however little you feel intuitively suits what you're doing. Okay. So there we go. I put in the orange peel. Oh, an extra one fell out of the bag, so I'm just going to throw that one in too. Now the next thing I'd like to add, I have this food grade pure orange oil. This is akin to essential oil. This um, I bought this a while ago. This is something that's you can add into your cooking or recipes, but I, I use it for not just cooking, but I also use this orange oil for, you know, magical, medicinal purposes, all that kind of good stuff. I'm going to add a few drops of orange oil into this. Again, for the same reasons that I added in 
the orange peel. And the next thing we're going to add in is some ginger. This is another seasonal spice or herb and ginger is very protective but also like cinnamon ginger is great for spicing up romantic situations, romantic relationships. So if you're in a relationship you can also put the intention in that the ginger can kind of like add a little bit of lusty goodness to your relationship. If you're not in a relationship um, that's okay because it can also um, lend well to spicing up life in general you know kind of making things exciting and fun and great you know so that's that's cool and I'm gonna use about a you know, rough quarter teaspoon ish I'm just gonna add that pinch by pinch into my bottle might be a little messy I am making a bit of a mess but you know what that's okay I'm not afraid to get messy that's fine by me. I don't think you should be afraid to be messy either when you make things. It's fine. You can always clean up at the end. Okay. And the final thing I would like to add into this oil. I went outside and I found a really pretty little fall leaf. And the reason I'm adding a fall leaf into this is to, as a final touch, add some of the spirit of the season into this. Okay? So I'm just going to kind of slip that right in there. Okay. And now one thing I will say as well, um, going back before I continue on, I will say that most of these ingredients you probably have in your house. With the exception of the orange oil, not all of you may have this or not all of you may have easy, ready access to this. If you cannot obtain orange oil in order to make this oil, feel free to use a different essential oil that has the same sort of properties as orange oil in the respect of blessings, prosperity, you know, good things, solar qualities about it. And if you don't have an oil to use that falls in, in that same realm of um, associations, you can use an herb that is seasonal, that you feel the scent would lend well to this oil, and that shares those same properties with orange, okay? Don't be afraid of substitutions as long as the things you substitute into recipes do the same things as what you're substituting for, okay? And now we have this lovely Samhain oil. And I'm going to give it a shake. So I would put this in a cool, dark place. Shake it as often as possible, preferably once a day. Or, again, it could be every other day or whatever, but try to, try to shake it up regularly to help it to infuse well. And by the 31st, this will be ready for use in your magical workings, be it in your spiritual baths, be it in, you know, your candle work, be it in other respects that you wish to use this. I will say, uh, I'm not sure if the cinnamon and the cloves and the ginger, if, if they might make this oil a little rough on your skin if you apply it directly to your skin or not. I'm thinking they shouldn't because this is in a vegetable oil base. So this may not irritate your skin like for example essential oils might or actually I'm not gonna say might I'm gonna say like essential oils of cinnamon cloves or ginger would because this is just an infusion it's not as intense but there is a chance that you may find if you apply this directly to your skin once it's steeped this may be irritating to your skin so if that's the case you might want to if you have sensitive skin and you're going to use this on your person you may want to dilute the the infused oil with a little more 
vegetable oil or base oil of some kind, okay? Just keep that in mind. But otherwise, I mean, if you add this to a, a bath or if you add this, you know, into your candle work or whatever, this shouldn't really give you an issue. It's just certain areas on the body, particularly like the undersides of your arms or more sensitive skin. For some people, um, even an infused oil like this might be irritating. But with that said, um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. And I hope you're as excited as I am to experience the finished product. And now that we have made our wonderful Samhain oil, it's time to look at the question of the day. The question I have for you today, and I welcome you to go down into the comment section and answer, is what does this time of year mean to you? What does Samhain mean to you? There are no right or wrong answers, but I would love to hear from you all. And for our journaling exercise today, we're going to write down some resolutions. Now, I will say not all pagans or witches see Samhain necessarily as the Witch's New Year. Some do. Some view Yule to be more of the Witch's New Year. And there, it's not like there's a right and wrong. You know, you're going to feel things as they feel true and and right for you. In a sense, both are aspects of, you know, preparation and, and movement into the new year. So this is an excellent time to start thinking about resolutions. What you would like to change or do in the coming year in order to enrich your experience, you know, improve your life, improve yourself, for today's journaling activity, we are going to turn to our Samhain journals and write down our resolutions for the coming year. And again, be sure to go down to the description below, check out the witchy link of the day. I hope you have enjoyed this introduction to this series. And also one more thing, if you notice that I might be wearing the same clothes in a lot of these episodes, it's because these are pre-recorded. So I'm not a slob, I promise. <laughs> it's just I pre-recorded these in order to free myself up later because this is going to be a very busy time of year for me. So if you see me in the same outfit, no, it's not me wearing the same thing over the course of several days. And with that, I'm going to wish you blessed be in Ashe. You have a wonderful day. Here's to the coming of Samhain. And here's to a fun and successful 13 Days of Samhain series here at Eva's House of Spirit. Be sure to come back tomorrow and in the coming days for more episodes of this series. Stay awesome. And until our next exchange, until next time, bye-bye for now.